Bible like a Bible voice. thumper. Yeah, yeah like yeah. I sound like I'm like I'm being a, a like the average Christian, and yeah. that's off putting to people. Yeah. When in when in when actuality, it's better for me to speak to my brother in my voice. Right. You know okay. I mean? so I speak to my mean. sister. Like my actual brother, my actual sister in my voice, opposed to them never reading the Bible, never going to church, and then hear me quoting a scripture to them. It just kind of is off-putting. You yeah. know what I mean? No, I, that's actually a good point, man. I'm, I'm going to think about that. That's a really good yeah. point. I think where Christianity tends tend to take a left turn was when um, they decided that they wanted to like study the Bible. And a lot of, I'm not big on studying the Bible. And the reason why is because I feel like what Christianity is missing is a real person. Mm. You know what I mean? And the reason why secular, the secular world is so popular is because there, there is issues that they're projecting, right? But it's real issues, mm. right? But the thing about them is that they're out of control and they're celebrating it as good, right? Mm. But um, I think Christians tend to hide. And I think Christians tend to not be real. Like we, like there's this like this this idea of trying to appear as perfect and do all these things instead of just being a real person and talking like a real person, relating to people who are like you know doing things that they shouldn't. Because we're all like mm. we all can relate in that way. But when you study the Bible, now you have this knowledge and information, and it just kind of hangs over the, over your head. This expectation. And then when you don't reach the expectation, you beat yourself up. You feel like a bad person. When I think that we should just live life and enjoy our life, and let's just say we get in those situations and we end up being tempted, but learning from yourself, being aware, learning from it, and not like trying so hard to walk the straight path. Right. And I think right. I feel like that tends to be well, the better option. One of my biggest barriers to entry to actually calling myself a Christian, because I kind of hit it for a few years, yeah, you know, was was thinking that I can't, I've had this degenerate past and I've done all of these like, you know, thing things that wouldn't be accepted by, you know, a good God fearing Christian. Who am I to sort of tell anybody what to do? Who am right. I to try and lead by example? Who am I to try and join the church? So Studying scripture for me was about like understanding how to lean into it. And it was about understanding how to have faith as well. And was about just, just understanding the messages. So yeah, yeah. if I didn't, if I haven't, and like, I'm no expert by any yeah. means, but a lot of the questions that I've had are answered by reading C.S. Lewis, for example, mm. by reading um, Mere Christianity, by reading yeah. the Screw Tape Letters. I'm not sure if you've heard of those books, but mm -mm. the Christian mm. books. And also by reading the Bible and having like audio books where I'll listen to the Bible and then yeah. get asked a few prompted questions. And sometimes, for example, when you're reading the story about the Exodus, they'll ask you a few questions and you'll be like, ah, oh, that's what that story means. And it's kind mm, of like, yeah. okay, so they were angry with God in the desert for 40 years and they were all, and it's like, yeah, everyone has that emotion. Yeah. Everybody gets, gets frustrated with God sometimes, but God is still, is still generous and loving. So I don't think that it's bad at all to read the Bible. You know what I mean? I used to really be, I used to study the Bible, but mm. I mean, maybe not in the way that you're saying, but I used to study it to like, Cause I wanted it to like um, make me feel better. So I used to remember the scriptures. I used to highlight. I used mm -hmm. to do all these things. And a lot of the time, it was helpful. Mm -hmm. It was helpful in a lot of ways. But I started like sounding like the Bible. I started like copying the Bible instead of like using my actual personality. Yeah, okay, I see that. But yeah. I think you make a good point in is that if we do read books or the Bible, which I don't think is wrong to do, we should you know pick those things up that we read to understand it. And not to remember like a like a yeah. math test. You I, know what I, mean? I would say for me, it's been quite a, like a transformative thing because I think that human beings are, are looking for an objective morality. I think that we intrinsically inherently know that there's some sort of objective morality and mm -hmm. we kind of have to understand that. And then it can yeah. be a transform. If you're looking for it and if you're seeking it actively and if you're seeking yeah. to understand it, then it can be quite a transformative thing. Yeah. And that's why before when I said the the light of god burns sometimes it's yeah. because if you if you sort of realize where you've been going wrong it can hurt and it can burn yeah and you can sort of a bit but it can change you and it can be quite transformative so yeah. i'm 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 grateful for for that experience but i do get what you mean in terms of people starting to sound like yeah the bible and do you, do you, do you think it's a problem in terms that you become unrelatable to, to other people? The copying right, or like okay. using it as a sword or so like imposing it. Kind of feel like Bible like a does. Bible thumper. Yeah, like yeah, I yeah. sound like I'm like I'm being a, a like the average Christian, and yeah. that's off putting to people. Yeah. When in when in when actuality, it's better for me to speak to my brother in my voice. Right. You know okay. I mean? so I speak to my mean. sister, 
like my actual brother, my actual sister in my voice, opposed to them never reading the Bible, never going to church, and then hear me quoting a scripture to them. It just kind of is off-putting, you yeah. know what I mean? No, I, that's actually a good point, man. I'm, I'm going to think about that. That's a really good yeah. point. Yeah. So that's what I find to be hard for people to want to even join because they're like, wow, that that's weird language. It's like Chinese. Yeah. You know what I mean? 